<laughs> he made the all media team. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty prestigious. <laughs> But what'd you do for your spring break night? I went home, Jacksonville. Uh, Justin King and a few guys came with me too, so it was pretty fun. Who else went with you? Uh, Jason Crew and Kenny Bynum. Yeah. Parents put on the work? Yeah, well, Jason <laughs> stayed with Kenny because he's from there too. And then uh, Justin and me just, we did actually move somebody in one day, kind of try to help somebody out. But uh, yeah, it was a fun time. No crews? No crews, no sir, unfortunately. <laughs> they had all the fun without us. So how was uh, getting back in the flow of things? It was good. I think yesterday everybody, and I mean even Sunday night in our meeting, everybody came in with a renewed sense of optimism, I think, and focus, and uh, did a really good job coming back today. I thought offensively, you know, we, we didn't have a great day. We need to correct a lot of our mistakes that we made today, ball security and being physical, two main points I think coach made to us. But, you know, we just got to do a better job. Uh, but I thought the focus was pretty good overall, though. Were you able to throw any when you were at home? Yes, sir. Yeah, it was good having those guys there with me. Uh, we threw a few times and then ran on the beach too. Got a little beach workout, so it was nice. When it comes to, to your progress now in the system, where, where do you feel like you are? Um, pretty, pretty good. I mean, they haven't installed too much, uh, so it's just kind of the basic stuff, and just got to really get perfect. And that's why I think they haven't installed too much because they want us to get perfect on these things. So, got to keep watching film. Got to always get better and uh, just work hard. When you go over to high school now, so your old coaches and old teammates mm -hmm. and stuff, do, do they tell you you look different or sound different? Or I always, my, and my parents especially, they always think I'm taller, and I'm like, you know, they're just <laughs> playing with me, but uh, I wish I was taller. But, uh, yeah, they, they always think I'm bigger or something like that and, you know, keep working out to try to get bigger all the time too. So it's good to see, it's always good to see the, them and uh, see how they're doing though too. What was Butch and the Cincinnati coaches like recruiting you? Uh, they were... You know, I think just how they are with any other guy. Um, you know, they were good, and they really made made me feel like they wanted me. Uh, were very welcoming when I visited Cincinnati. Uh, had a great trip. They were great, and I'm sure they do it to you know everybody else. Yeah. So they were really good, though. How'd they take it when you uh, said no? Well, see, that was actually uh, something that really impressed me with them. Is when I did say no, you know, they were very respectful of my decision. Uh, very just, you know, we understand that it's where you want to go, and but if there, if anything ever happens, there's always a place for you here. So that's kind of cool that it ended up that there was a place for me with them too. So it's it's a cool thing that worked you out. You could have told them that. <laughs> happens, there's a place right. for you. <laughs> right. Have you and Kenny talked about that? Since yes, he was sir. Actually committed. Yes, sir. And I mean, he's got a couple of friends that are up there too, and we talk about that and just how crazy it would have been. I remember right when I committed to Tennessee, I met up with Kenny, and he was like, "Man, you should have came to Cincinnati with us." And <laughs> it's funny how it worked out. Nate, I'm sorry if you've already been asked, but just the, the pace of the installation, and mm -hmm. can, you, can you assess that and assess how it's going right now? Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, it, it's it's a little slow right now, um, but I, it's good that it's slow because we really need to master things, and that's what they're really focusing on us with is to master these basic concepts, and so it's it's good. Everybody's starting to get it down. Yeah, how beneficial is that that you guys, I guess, are being taught on the practice field and are able to I guess to walk off the practice field feeling like you've mastered something each day. Very beneficial. These coaches are very, you know, very coaching the details and coaching every little thing and uh, yeah. makes you the best player that you can be, so it's very beneficial. Are you able to play faster when, when it's taught at that pace because you feel like you have a little bit better command of it? Yes, sir, I think so, and they're always, you know, focusing on tempo and, you know, even the way they coach makes you feel like everything is up tempo, so it makes the, you know, the kind of, when you're playing, actually, the tempo up a lot, too, so. They're coaching really good, and uh, we just got to keep repping it and keep getting it faster. What's the next step for you? Where, you know, when you practice Thursday and then go to scrimmage on Saturday, what are you looking for? What do you need to do next? Um, I think just control uh, the ball. You know, protect the football. I think I had a, a few problems with that earlier, so just protect the football. Make sure all my reads are good, and just manage the offense and drive down the field. Coach Jones singled out Jason Crew specifically as the guy who came back better than when mm -hmm. he dismissed for spring break. You know him as well as anybody. Is that, does that surprise you at all? Or what, what, what oh, not at all. I mean, I was around him, you know, probably more than anybody, if not Kenny. But, um, you know, Jason is a very hard worker. And I noticed it today. I went up to him and told him, hey, man, you're looking great. I mean, I can tell the, the renewed, you know, sense of pride and sense of focus that he had. And he was really out there working hard and busting his butt and doing a great job. So he's a really hard worker and a good guy. Is there any reason to that, you think, or is that just his drive? That's or? his drive. I mean, you know, and he saw his family, too. That might have gave him a little motivation. But, um, you know, like I said, we were on the beach, and he wanted to run. And uh, we were running together, and 
you know, he's a he's a very hard worker. So uh, anytime you got a guy like that, it pays off. So I missed. Is that close for you to go in this incident? Uh, very close. It was between here and there, and um, you know when I told them they're they're disappointed, but they're very welcoming uh, and accepting of my decision. So uh, it's it's crazy how it worked out. What was uh, the deciding factor in picking Tennessee over Cincinnati? I mean, it's hard to turn down Tennessee. You know, it's a great place here, great fans, great stadium. Uh, you really can't turn down Tennessee when you get offered like that. What did, what did the coaches tell you when you said that you were picking Tennessee? Uh, they just said that they're, you know, we accept your decision, we're disappointed, but if you ever uh, you need a place here or anything ever happens, you always have a place here. So they're, it was great, though. They're one of the ones I was most impressed with when that, that happened. How much better do you think you are this spring than last spring? Uh, a lot better. I, I do think, though, that I'm getting a lot better right now as I get more reps. Uh, you know, there's certain things you have to go through just watching film, watching other guys can't quite you know master that technique without actually doing the reps so I think I'm getting better every day and uh, that's all I can hope for. How do you feel your accuracy is? Good uh, you know I can always work on that too though I, I really don't feel like I'm perfect in any area I just want to work to be the best I can be in everything. How effective do you think you can be with zone read plays? Uh, pretty effective I just you know hope that the defense will know that you know, maybe I'm not going to be a 60-yard run and uh, juke a bunch of guys out, but uh, that hopefully, you know, I can make them pay um, if they completely sell out for the running back and, you know, pick up a few yards, pick up a first down here and there. Do you like the fast pace of this offense? I do. I really do. And, you know, it's kind of something I've been running my whole life, even in high school. It wasn't as fast as this, obviously, but uh, you can just tell the effects on it when they put on film from their past places and I mean, even in practice, it, it's, it works. Hey, what's the, what's the competition been like? I guess from your perspective, with you and Justin so far, it's been kind of back and forth. Where you feel like one day you had a better day, and that's him. Or I mean, I guess. How uh, you... I mean, I know, you know, I think you know to be the best competitor you can be, all you can do is focus on yourself. You can't, you can't worry about anybody else. And uh, we're, like I said before, you know, we're just trying to do the best for the team. So, um, you know, I, I know I have up and down days that I'm not as happy with myself sometimes. So, um, I don't know about him and how he feels, but I, I think I can get better every single day. For people that are. John Key fan that not a diehard fan doesn't understand the up tempo. What's the point of it? Is it something that shows up in the second half and people are tired, broken down? Just what's the point of going so high tempo with this offense? Well, the defense to go high tempo, you know, the defense really can't keep up with it. And um, just as an example, they showed us some film of it when they were back at Central Michigan, and uh, you know they were showing just the first drive, not even the second half. And you know they got defense with their hands on their knees, bent over, and I think the fourth or fifth play, one of the guys on the defense is throwing up on the field. So it's, it's crazy how it, it wears the defense down. And I think, you know, kind of everybody's kind of moving towards this. But, uh, you know, it's hard to defend and hard to get used to. Obviously, your, your biggest game early on the schedule is going to Eugene. Given what you guys do every day in practice, how much do you think that helps your defensive teammates in preparation for that game? Right. Like I said, it's hard to get used to. But with us doing it every day against them, I would hope that, you know, they'd be ready for it. And they do do a great job. They're always out there working hard and getting after it. So all we can hope for is the best.